maybe one of the more unique uh, things that I do with potatoes is I carve them. And sometimes I carve them into faces, and then what happens, this one has been painted um, to help sort of seal it up, uh, because these they continue to dry, and they get smaller and smaller uh, as time passes. Now this one is about approximately two years old, and you can see it's like this kind of shrunken head idea. Uh, but the way that they dry, uh, in a way I don't have any control over this, so it, it's, it's a surprise for even me. But I have a number of these uh, sculptures that I've made, uh, and sometimes they, they're too ephemeral and they rot away, and sometimes they uh, just keep changing their sculptural form. I think also I'm unique in that uh, I can train potatoes uh, to grow for a very long time until they're very old, in fact, and they'll grow uh, very long tentacles. Uh, and the, this is an example of some potatoes. These are maybe in the three-year-old range, something like that. Uh, and then I can later take individual ones of them. Uh, so I used some of these for the potato mask, for example. Um, and these, these are very unique because, well, first of all, they are organic. Um, so they are also always in the process of decay and change, which is also part of my larger art concept. I'm, I also call myself a process artist. Uh, which means that it's the uh, it's the sta it's the stages and transformations of the work of art that uh, uh, make it interesting that lend it uh, its content. 